with this thing on the sheet plan, on the feet hands. It's on the feet It's on the feet hands. to another episode of only fans oh we started <clears throat> what do you need pat the pen not enough to get up <laughs> <laughs> that's my chain look stop stop he, oh, he, he's trying to all right earn it oh, he's trapping him he's trapping him let him just hump him once but see how kuma won't like really leave he's like asking for it a little. No, he's not. Yeah. Ernest just has to assert a little dominance over Paco's dog really quick. Just because this is his apartment and Paco's dog isn't really respecting him quite yet. So we're just going to let Ernest hump him uh, a little bit. This is a fun, it's under over of how long it's taken. It's been five minutes now. They're running through the cords. It's a very... Very get him uh, like Ernest will make him suck his dick. Like uh, I've seen Ernest do this with bigger. Oh, dogs. oh, they're doing it on Karen now. I love it. Oh, uh, Karen, Karen's used to this. Is her, her DP. She <laughs> loves DPs. <laughs> Stop. You're not doing it on me. I don't allow this shit. I will not allow this shit. I, I, you know, I'm the dominant one here. All right. You're the least dominant one here. I'm all. Hey, Karen. What? You. Uh, I listen, dominate this I podcast it. all the time. Everybody says it in the comments, and they hate Kuma. it. <laughs> find out whether or not kuma is fixed Ernest. hey listen can i talk to you for a second he has raging homoerotic tendencies um coupled with uh just like physical violence towards his male counterparts he may reminds me a lot of luis j gomez in that regard um he's just like very physical and sexual but like with violence um so that's what we're dealing with. Ernest is showing a side <clears throat> that I'm not really like into right hey, now. Hey, hey, stop. Go to bed. Go in your room. I'll knock you out. I'll knock everyone out here. Get out of here. Go. Ernest, we'll be back. I gave you a chance to hump him. You also are asking for it. I see what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of what we're wearing, what is this fucking pajamas you're wearing, Karen? Listen, I knew I had dog duty today, so I wasn't get, gonna get too fancy. I didn't know if this one was gonna shit. The thing is, this one, I don't want him. Dog like, duty is also what Karen to think calls that anal. He's like my, like he's he's acting like dominant, like he's better than Ernest, and I don't like that. So um, he can Ernest can hump him. Uh, well, he comes from an Asian household, so. <clears throat> Stop. Tell, Stop. Tell Kuma to get down. Kuma, get down. Get down. Get down. 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 Jared, you suck. No, I just don't want anything. Down. To... Stop. Pat. Oh, my God. I have be... to fucking call Justin Silver. I swear to God. All right. Ignore them. Everyone ignore them. Stop looking at them. I have so ADHD, Karen. This week, we, it is fucking, I don't know oh, what. Pat, Pat's saying this is who you look like with this outfit on. <laughs> That's pretty Look great. at Pat. That's a pretty good. Who's That's that? That's pretty solid. Haha, <laughs> Karen looks like Lunette from the big comfy couch. Yeah. She's Look at adorable. Pat with the roast. She's adorable. I mean, how is this a roast? She's like one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Listen, the past two weeks I was like half naked on this couch. And I fucking <laughs> I watched that episode. That's why our views are gonna drop. <laughs> my, <laughs> because of this. My whole skirt was up my ass. Lie down. Sit. Good over there. Everyone chill. Um so yes, this will be my life for what do you the think weekend, the weekend because, uh, i'm gonna be running a dog fighting ring um <laughs> you guys want to come over and place bets uh no oh you're talking to everybody else i thought you were talking to us because we're gonna be too busy in fucking houston <laughs> you're gonna be busy not getting, getting a whole stage. lot of stage time without karen <laughs> <sighs> what a clusterfuck that turned out to be huh Oh, I read it from the beginning. What do you uh, mean? That's exactly what I knew was going to happen. What do you and mean? You know what? That's just life. Life has been like that this year. There's a lot of ups, a lot of downs. And you know what? <clears throat> I'm just going with the flow from now on, you know? I think your chances of getting on stage are very good <clears throat> because you're very obnoxious and you ask a lot and there's going to be stage time to be had. There's, I think Christine said there's like 138 comics in the festival. 
but there's what five how many shows a day probably more than five i don't i don't know um you'll be fine and you'll have fun and there's going to be like an iv drip there and food trucks pat um you're gonna have a great time what are you gonna be busy doing karen Oh, I'm going to be here in New York City opening for the legendary Jim Norton. Uh, five Wait, shows you talk, you at Caroline's. Talk, you should talk past tense how all your boyfriends do. Oh, right, right. oh I crushed. Oh, that was a good, that was a good joke. Um, I crushed. The shows were great. Everybody came out. They were like, who is that bald guy that did an hour after you? You were stellar. <laughs> no, um, I'm just excited actually to hang and out with Jim. And then they're going to uh, wheelchair out of there. Oh, speaking of that. You're a fucking loser. Speaking of that, I performed for handicapped people yesterday. Paraplegic. I feel like I do every week when we record this. <laughs> I was with Derek Gaines. Shout handicapped out. love Derek Gaines because he has such him. strong, long limbs. They're like, whoa. <laughs> uh, and so it was, uh, there was some, you know, I, 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 there was some, like, there were like nonverbal, uh, Special needs adults and uh, oh my God. and so I so we see Derek. Derek is on shrooms and and he's like he's like I am not prepared for this, right? He's like I can't believe I'm really seeing. It. He's like, is this the shrooms or is this like really happening? I'm like, yeah, this is really happening right now, Derek. And uh, he sees these people get wheeled into the show, carried in, but a chair. The the he, the, the the one guy who had a uh, one leg had a wheel had a wheel. He had a a skate on his one leg and parallel parked the wheelchair outside. <laughs> they carried in the lady in the chair. And so Derek sees this. We see this. It's all I'm really not, can I just be clear? You're not I'm laughing not at laughing at, at these people so bad. that are handicapped. You're laughing at Pat with the dog. Pat's holding Kuma. Like he, like that dog is like um, a toy though to Ernest. Like that's how Ernest sees it right now. He's like, let me fucking get it. Yeah. They have to, Pat, they have to exist in this apartment for four days, so you might as well just put them down because they have to figure it, it out, and I'm not figure holding it out after Kuma for four days. We'll, we'll, we'll figure They're it out. Gonna, after- somebody's going to bite somebody, somebody's going to cry, and that'll be it. <laughs> Sounds a lot like this podcast. <laughs> like you bite it every week. Ernest just has to be like, I'm the, Kuma's just not fucking submitting to him, though, because he keeps jumping up on you and jumping up on us, and he has to realize this isn't his house. Yeah. And I think that he went to, like, lift a leg. That's fine, Pat. That's fine that he's just cowering behind you. I kind of like that. Uh, so- Fuck! Sorry about this episode. Sorry. I didn't know that Paco's dog. This is Paco's dog from Gas Digital. He sucks. Because it can't possibly be my perfect dog. <laughs> That's just trying to face fuck him. <laughs> that dog, you know what it is? That dog's traumatized. He went to too many open mics. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Like, fucking people bring their dogs to comedy clubs, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. like if here's my an example. Like, if you brought me somewhere, and everywhere we went, I was like, <laughs> wouldn't you take me home? <laughs> wouldn't you be like, let's get out of here? Like, people just completely ignore their dog's mannerisms. Like, there somebody brought their dog to the stand, and the dog the whole time was just like, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, she loves it. She's having a great time. I'm like, no, she's fucking not. Well. Sounds a lot like me. <laughs> I'm what? Like, no, I'm having a great time. <laughs> uh, Are you really not, though? No, no, I really am. You were saying that it looks like the dog doesn't. I yeah, I guess I don't understand how you people. There like, it is. There it is, Pat. The hump. The hump was there. Don't you? <laughs> you're a fucking. Freak. I'm. Di- I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of this dog fighting going on. It's not. This it's is not bear. Annoying. This is not me. dog fighting. It's not dog fighting. It's dog uh, manhandling. <laughs> I keep telling you guys what needs to happen, but you, I know, and I you was- keep caving to Kuma. I don't, well, get him off my chair. No, Kuma doesn't come up. Kuma's on the in the fucking playing ground. He's at battle right now. He doesn't get a higher level. Ernest gets to hump him until he's done humping. Ernest him. got no grip. Ernest, you know, just about, like his owner. It's not about. She's got no grip on her life, and that's why she's here right now with me and two dogs. It's not about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's not about the humping. It's like he's got to do it until Kuma goes to bite him, and then he has to bite him back or whatever. <laughs> I, I can't be a part of this. I'm not allowing this. I want you guys to know I'm not allowing this. I, I I love peace, you know. That's why I've been. Can I explain something to you? Kuma could be hiding under my bed. Oh my he gosh. could be in the oh kitchen. Gosh. Oh, my god! But he isn't, like, submitting to Ernest. 
He doesn't know the house. Let him do it. Let him, nice. Get him, Ernest. Good boy. Good boy. He does, he's not going to come. He's has had right. his ball taken. So out. There it is. They left. They left. They left. Right, so good. back to the story with Derek Gaines. We see these paraplegics and uh, autistic adults go into the go into the showroom. Yeah. And Derek's like, is it the shrooms? I'm, no, is it the shrooms or is this really happening? I'm like, this is really happening, Derek. And uh, Derek has this one joke about uh, paraplegics that I've heard a whole lot. So I go, hey, Derek, can I request a joke from you tonight? And he goes, get the fuck out of here. I go, no, Derek, I want that one about, uh, you know, at the cafe with the, you can't put that person on the on the, on the the breakfast rush. Oh, the one arm barista? <laughs> the one arm barista at the <laughs> breakfast rush. And he goes, you know what? That's pretty funny. That's pretty, f- I'll give it to you. That's pretty funny. Did he do it? He goes, I'll do it if I get consent. And he got consent, and he did. He puts the stool in front. He goes, "This is my, this is my cancel shield. <laughs> this, this is my cancel shield. <laughs> you can't cancel me. I act." They were all for it. They were like, "Yes." That's hilarious. They the one like, arm. They cracked the fuck up. The and one then, arm barista bit is absolutely hilarious. Hilarious. <clears throat> incredible. And then I went up. Derek, you know how Derek, Derek, you know, projects his voice. He got the, he got the type of chest to, you know, I forgot what he said. He used a better term. What's the, what's the term for your chest, your vocals? I don't know deep baritone yeah 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 whatever and you know he's able to like talk over them and scream over them but like during my set i'm just straight monotone and Ernest, come here. words get over here and get uh up. they talked during my you set got a little him. bit and you're number did, one it didn't go really well but i had a you know i got laughs and uh things went well and uh that was a great story that took 10 and a half minutes uh True. honestly obviously the dogs were much more entertaining I mean, Ernest's Ernest heart hard. is beating so Holy fast. Shit. All he wants to do is face walk the shit out of that dog. Cock <clears throat> slap the shit out of it? But can I, t- can I explain something to you oh about gosh, dogs? Getting under like, there. We're all like, oh, er- it's all Ernest. It's all Ernest. But he's not leaving. But yeah. He's toying around. He's like, I like Puma's like, fuck you, dude. I'm in your fucking house. You haven't really helped me yet, bitch. He's like, well, I'm having He's fun. like, I'll piss on your stuff. I'll sleep on your woman. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Sounds like all he's like, parents, uh, girls. He's like, dude. I'm being raised by a fucking Filipino right now, dude. I don't know what sexuality I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh- they're hitting lights. Well, since uh, we last recorded, I uh, I, re- I got recalibrated. Your boy went to another rave. It was fucking dope. Uh, had a great have so- had some great revelations with my uh, my. Uh, my man, uh, Mario, you know, we had some touching moments with my brother. I loved it. Every bit of it was great. And uh, I'm still feeling still feeling it, you know. I called him up this week. He was like, he was like, he gave me some great advice on uh, what I should do. He was like, you should shut up and listen, which I haven't done this whole podcast. But he was like, you should start shutting up and listening. He's like, give it two weeks and you'll notice something. I call him up today. I go, I go yo, it's been two weeks. He goes, nah, it was last week, bro. <laughs> Do you think this whole audio is going to be Ernest pause? Yeah. No, we're good. I'm keeping it close. I'm keeping it close. Yeah. It's interesting how you just told a story, but like the pitter patter of Ernest's feet was more interesting. Get him, Ernest. It's your house. How weekend was a great time. It's not insane, Matt. Have you ever had dogs? How was your how weekend, Karen? I went home went to Massachusetts. Home. My little niece was Galinda the Good Witch, so she requested that I be the evil witch throw up a picture i really crushed it um i also held my sister's baby when i was wearing all that green makeup and that evil nose and he screamed and screamed <laughs> <laughs> he might be traumatized forever that's funny um i hope not <clears throat> and then yeah i just sort of uh hung out and tried to help out with my mom my mom just had surgery on her foot you know and i just i can't imagine it's like you're a prisoner of your own body you know like you can't do anything you're used to being so independent she like loves walking her dog around cape cod and everything you know what else is funny this person that brought their uh dog to the stand they were like oh you know it's an 80 pound dog oh my god you have to have control over this dog and yeah because she had a pincher collar on that just like it just looks like it hurts and it like I th- it was like actively pinching her mm-hmm. and then i'm like really you have to have a pincher collar it's like my fucking 70 year old decrepit mother can walk a 70 pound pit bull so what's your problem <laughs> fucking pussy i'm irritated by that person did your mom have to get surgery on her foot because uh 
I was up my dad's ass so far. I'm not quick enough. You're not. I was going to say yours, but yeah, your dad's ass is pretty good. Somebody's ass. Um, No, she has arthritis. I was a doodle bop, and it crushed all weekend. Everyone loved it. Of course, I was mar- everyone was like, oh, that's a great costume. And I'd be like, yeah, I made it myself. They'd be like, really? I'm like, yeah, I'm an artist. They're like, really? I was like, yeah, I'm a stand-up comedian. They're like, really? I was like, yeah, come to my show. They're like, no. Where'd you go? I went all over. I went to a few parties. I went to Allie Fish's party. That was a hot one. Uh, and I went to a, you know, I went to a few bars. Went I to saw a couple that house one parties. looked like fun. It was a great time. You know, I got around, uh, did my thing. It was a fun weekend. Yeah. What? He turned to the camera so I could zoom in. I don't I'm know what Pat's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I do. <clears throat> I do. Like I said, like I said. He also but, joined a boy band. <laughs> You know, I'm just trying. To, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just trying to be the best me I could be. You know. Yeah, and the best of you has a new little earring. Is that 14 karat gold? No, the chain is though. The chain, the chain is popping. Like, yeah. I lost eleven hundred dollars worth of rings. Like, I put them down in Equinox. I do blame Equinox and uh, the maintenance people who work there. I do think they stole my jewelry. Um, if any man wants to get me anything, I would love an eleven hundred dollar gift card. <laughs> to Majuri M-E-J-U-R-I thank you uh (laughs) yeah I got a nice little hoop earring in now yeah you look stupid I don't know like don't you have to uh, I got a mustache one earring what is didn't that used to signify like if it's in your left ear it means you're gay oh right ear oh right ear I don't know I was talking to someone yesterday I was like I have a diamond you know I have I've had my ear pierced since uh, pre-k and I was like, should I, put a di- should I put a diamond back in now that I got this chain? They're like, nah, maybe a hoop. Like, My mom had a hoop today. Since pre-K. Yeah. Who pierced your ear? One of my parents. Both of my parents. Both of your parents. I got, the, I got cool parents. <laughs> that is so, no, they probably just hated you. Like, what can we do in public that'll hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's traumatize him. Well, what, that's did why you I'm here ask doing comedy it? now. You asked for an earring? I don't know. I got, I got a pre-K photo with an earring in it. Wow. You, I will post it right here. I, I was cute as fuck. You I think know? I was like six when I got my ears pierced. I was pretty young, but I was like begging my mother, like since I was like three. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask, I, I'll ask my mom. Should I call her up right now? Ask her. Get her on the phone again? No, that's all right. So what's new with you since, uh, since you've been gone? I couldn't breathe. We did, fr- we did Frantic this Monday. That was a lot of fun. I mean, Karen, we should have just videoed them the whole time, you know. Ern- <coughs> Ernest will get Kuma out from under the chair. They're now fighting underneath Pat. I just, I'm trying to figure out what this energy exactly is. Dominant. Dominant. It is, I know. I know I'm right because they're both boy dogs. They're both fixed, though. So that's why I'm not really that concerned. Like, they're not going to do a lot of damage to each other. But they have to. D- Kuma just needs to roll over and be like, you're my daddy. And then it'll fucking, you know. Or blood will be shed. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not paying for a vet. <laughs> that fluffy white what do you dog. Think, you think Paco got health insurance? Absolutely not. I'm driving it to Gas Digital. <laughs> I'm leaving it there. Well, it's going to be empty all weekend. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. All right, I'll put it on a plane to Houston. <laughs> well, you know what happens on planes and dogs. Are you implying that they'll die? I don't know. Wasn't that like a whole thing? Yeah, it was. There's been a lot. Of, did you hear that? In Was it China or Korea? In Disneyland, they locked 30,000 people in there because one person tested positive for COVID. But like, for like nah. yeah. Things that nightmares are made of, for me anyway. Imagine they just like you are now locked in. It's like fucking Squid Games in real life. Nightmares. Who's calling me? Who's calling you? You gonna answer that? No. no I don't answer. Um. So yeah. Nightmares like seeing your nudes. I took that long to say it. It's like not even funny. I guess it's just like if I wasn't like making a living off of my nudes, like you know what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> For sure. I can't roast you at all. You know? I got nothing on you. You're like the perfect person. 
I hate you. You said that so shitty. Well, where? <laughs> I mean, I'm excited that Brianna knew who you were. I mean, I like you had to like reach out and like ask her. You know. Well, yeah, because like she's not gonna see your. You're the only one who posted it. You know, she's not gonna see your notification. You could have posted and tagged her. Uh, which is what I did. <laughs> did you just? Send- I thought you like sent her a DM though. No, I posted it on my story. Oh. And I said, hey, prove my haters wrong. And she did. So go fuck yourself, Karen. Oh, wow. I got other cosigns. Another, all right? another alcoholic fan. Add to the fucking tally. <laughs> because I'm your fan, Jared. I appreciate that. And I'm an alcoholic. You did okay at Frantic. I think. I didn't watch. <coughs> I had a great time at Frantic I doing new strong. bits, really loose up there, great crowd work. I hope that really Joe loose down there too. That's untrue. I had um it's called vaginal fusion. I was born Actually? Yeah, I was oh. born in my vagina shut. <coughs> Get him, Ernest. This is your chance. I wish you were born with your mouth shut. <laughs> Why you wouldn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to I'd... fight. They're about to fight. Oh. <laughs> God bless you, Karen. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. allergic to success. Just kidding. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't care. I don't care. I've decided that I'm only in love with one person. Actually, it makes it easy to just be in love with this one person. And my love yeah. is like sort of, I don't know if it's unrequited, but it's certainly, you know, not moving at a fast pace. Um, How many times have you said I love you to a, a partner? How many partners have you said I love you to? Um, Tom, that's my high school boyfriend. Um, I gotta say names. I just asked for a number. I don't really care about the name. I know, but I want to count. I want to make sure I get it right. Oh, I know how much of a whore she really is. What is saying I love you? That's not whoreish. That's like just means that I like. I'm very luckily, knock on wood, and hopefully it's not over. I've connected with well, a lot of really she, great she guys. Spreads, she spreads her love. That's what she has a lot of love to give. Spreads no. her love and her likes. But you're like chronologically, like these I mean, are, it's like, just not funny out. because all your fans know you're a whore, so like it doesn't matter. What did they fucking <laughs> puncture your brain when they pierced your ear? <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did that? What just happened? All your fans know you're a whore. You're like a gremlin. You're like you're like this Italian fucking trash. Who is this? He comes in like slick Rick, like fucking. <laughs> Your boy got a show tonight, and we sold some tickets, so I'm in a good mood. Well, Ernest is in a good mood. He's going to try to face fuck Paco's dog to death. Um, what was I, I was saying something. You were talking about how, how, how many, many times I've said I love, love you, my yeah, high yeah. school boyfriend. And meant it. Um, and the, what do you mean? I meant it every time. Oh. Um, we, were, we dated for like 11 months, which in high school is like fucking seven years. Um, and then my next serious boyfriend was Lawrence, and we were together for almost like eight years so yeah i said i love you to him mm-hmm. we li- like lived together and everything we got evicted together keith i loved keith i said i love you to him a lot i loved lewis said i love you to lewis a lot i loved tom i said i love you to tom a lot oh so only five only five. Oh. i said i love you to this guy jeff that i dated for a second too but then we like broke up the next week it was kind of weird i love jeff though just not that much wonder i wouldn't leave out any boyfriends i didn't I mean, I'm sure they don't <coughs> listen to this podcast anyway. Um, they might. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, that's the first bark we've heard all day. Well, Kumo's going. Kumo. Kuma is going to like nip at Ernest because he's like a little mouthy. Pat, you should be getting B-roll for this. And then Ernest is probably going to grab him by the throat and kill Pat, him. Pat, get some B-roll. Ernest has Kuma oh. by about, what do you think? Inches for sure. Pounds for sure, too. Probably 10 pounds. Ernest is 10 pounds bigger and like a foot taller. But Kuma is like playing it low and being obnoxious. And also he's like a purebred probably. So he's like, Ernest is probably upset because of his learning disability. He can't tolerate it. No. <clears throat> like, you know how like in a herd of wild animals, they'll like kill the sick and the weak and the stupid and the slow. Like, Ernest is an athletic, like, very streamlined, yeah. here-for-business type of dog. So he's like, you're kind of stupid. You're not submitting, but you're not actually letting me fight you. He's like, Kuma's being, like, that annoying kid who's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, but never pulls, like, pulls a punch or, like, right, does right. anything. He just talks but shit. But sticks around and, like, enjoys it. Yeah. Almost like a masochist. Yeah. 
Sounds familiar. They're they're engaged in a way that is, you know, like He's I said, stre- sexually He's violent. In front of him. All right. You guys, <laughs> if you have if you have, if you have dogs, you will you could probably picture like what's going on exactly and why we're kind of a little distracted because at any minute I feel like they, it could break out into a fight. Um, so if you don't have dogs and you don't like love them, it's probably because you're a minority and white people treat dogs better than they treat you. What are you looking forward to uh, this upcoming week after uh, Caroline? I don't know. This whole week. I mean, I got five shows with my guy, Jim Norton. I mean, it's going to be fucking like, so fun. I want to have Car- a different outfit for every show. You've done Caroline's before, right? Yeah. It's been a while, though. Caroline's is a tricky room because yeah. it's so spread out, mm-hmm. you know? And you feel like it's not that. Oh, when we get back. Uh, oh, by the time this comes out, you'll have done your show at the stand. Yeah. And it was great, too. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for buying tickets. Thank you right. for enjoying the first two episodes of my animated series. We're hard at work on episode three right now. Um, New York Comedy Festival have, <coughs> have happened by now. It's a good thing I keep up with days. I will have uh, gone to Albany to do Mama's Boy. That's That was fucking dope. That was a great time. <laughs> do we just talk in, like, the fake future now? That's good. We're, we're really, you know, we're really out there. And uh, we're, you know, you know, we're focused on like our goal. We're goal oriented. You know, we're we're really pushing ourselves to the n- to the to the next step. You know, because we're focused on the future, which is good. Therapy's been great, by the way. Everybody's been asking. Are you going once a week? Once a week, but then it's gonna be bi-weekly in a couple of weeks when I go back to work. Yeah, that's I think, so good I think though. That's, I think that's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, start. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been doing. This morning, I went to the Rockefeller Center Equinox because I, I was that. on Jim and Sam this morning at Sirius XM. What a stellar Equinox. Definitely one of my favorites. A steam room and a dry sauna. And I've been reading a lot of reports on different saunas. Infrareds are probably the best, but like dry saunas are good too. There's something that happens after you do a dry sauna session that can alleviate your depression for up to six weeks. Like it sets a chemical off in you. It's like real. Lots of research has been done. You did it? I do. Well, yeah, of course. I was there today. But I do that. But I do the infrared sauna at Clean Market. If you ever have the chance to go to a clean market, I highly recommend it. You could get an IV drip, a sauna, a cryo, skincare, healthy food, all in the same place. Ooh, I love those guys. What are the guys do you love? Mm. You just named them. Jar- you didn't name me the whole time, but it's right. Whatever. Yeah, I named all the guys I loved. Well. And then it's funny when you like say the ones that you loved, like all the other ones that you slept with, like just kind of float around <laughs> in your head, in your memory, like not him, not him. <laughs> no love, no love, no love. <laughs> Good dick though. Boop, boop. <laughs> what a slut. Oh, what a slut. Ernest, just fuck him, all right? Stop fucking around, Kuma. Let him fuck you in the butt. Come here, Ernest. No, he's got expert consent. He's not. This is his house. He doesn't have to have for. That's how dog world works. My house. I fuck what I want. Yeah. That's a good I point. have that's a feeling point. that Kuma, because everything was chill and they were all playing and like Kuma's like kind of afraid of Ernest. I have a feeling Kuma went to like lift his leg and mark something and Ernest saw him and he's like, oh, now I must fuck you to death. You uh-huh. thought you could disrespect my home? Because Ernest won't be caught dead. Ernest will hold his pee for fucking two days. He doesn't piss where he eats or shits. Are you zoning out on me? I'm the star. Oh, shit. I forgot you were here. (laughs) Isn't my place starting to look pretty cute, Pat? It's only been six months. No, it hasn't. June, July, August, September, October. Probably by the time this comes out, it'll be my birthday, too. So that would have been great. (laughs) My birthday's in a few weeks. I thought your birthday was in December. Yeah. Few weeks, I said. I was joking because we put these out like weeks in advance. It's today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Last Wednesday, I got fucked up at a rave, like I mentioned. Made a friend. <laughs> that shit was fucking great. Luckily, I got fucked up at a rave. The best was the best was. I so wish you meant jump. I met this girl, right? I met this girl. <laughs> I met this girl, and I go, uh, "Yo, hey, are you on drugs?" She's like, "No." I was like, "Do you want to be?" She's like, "Sure." I was like, "All right, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram." <laughs> You're. Ugh, you, ugh, you're so cringy. 
honestly, looking at it, that's a pretty smart thing to do. Like, I'm giving this person drugs, and, like, I'm giving them my profile. So it seems pretty safe. If they die, the cops are coming for you. Exactly. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, both ways. Like, you know, it's... Like why is the tag still on this? Why, why don't you guys help me? Like, do like help me with my stuff. Like, and, uh, why haven't you got me a light bulb for this? The best was I gave. It's been <laughs> it's been a month. Why don't you guys? Right, I already got one light bulb. That's <laughs> it. That's all. And I. <laughs> what I do you have... guys even do? Like, I'm ah. supposed to get every light bulb. <laughs> Should I use the same Who joke three, week, three weeks in a row? Should I use? I'm I'm running a fucking dog foster care ring. <laughs> You're running a foster care for us too. Foster fucking <laughs> open micer fucking. Oh, oh, your boy does shows. Relax, relax. I know, I knew that would hurt. It's the relax. end of the. It's the, end, it's the end of the episode. I try to make it more hurtful. Yeah, but it's all good. Yeah, I gave the girl drugs, and then uh, she took them. And I go, she was wearing a jacket. I was like, hey, you want to leave your jacket with my friends? Because like we we had like a banister right. We were right there. We were in VIP. Like the jacket's not going anywhere. I like the word banister. Yeah. Where'd you have a banister? <laughs> a rail. Uh, yeah. I mean, a rail. Uh, yeah, a railing? Same thing. Yeah. Banister, railing? Banister, railing. Totally synonyms. Are they? Absolutely. Are they not? They are. Well, on the stairs, stairs. No, banisters right? on the stairs. Banisters well, on the so stairs. Well, so yeah, more of a banister. Banisters on the stairs. And so I go, you want to leave? Because we tied, we tied our sweaters there. <coughs> I go, hey, you want to leave yours? And she's like, nah, I don't trust any motherfuckers here. Wow. I was like, you just took my drugs. <laughs> And then I invited her to, because, so she follows me on Instagram, and all the people that it showed that follow me were all comedians, like Francis, Tim, uh, Hannah Burner. I wonder if I could DM them and ask you to, them to unfollow you. I wonder if I could send a mass message to, like, pick, well, like, I did, 20 I went through, comments. Talking about unfollowing. I went through a mass purge today. You uh, unfollow people? I did today. Don't people. do that. Why? Okay, Jeff. I'm not H, a fan. I'm not a fan of that. Fucking loser. So what? Just leave. Who cares? What a waste of time. It was. Well, also, if I don't want to see them on my timeline. <coughs> so don't look. So get off your phone. Go do some push-ups. Like, no, I, I hate. Like, yeah. Jeff Leach's post made me so fucking irritated. He's like, you know, I'm just sick of, like, scrolling and comparing myself. No, 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 no. We're all in that hell. We all do that. Okay? Yeah. Shut up. Why, why do you think you are important enough to, like, post about, about it, it and let people know that, that you're unfollowing? I couldn't wait to yeah. unfollow that guy. I was like, good. Bye. Bye. Forever. And if I was a fan of his, I would be like, why am I a fan of this fucking pussy? Right. Why? This mentally weak. Be mentally weak. We all have our problems, right? right? You're in therapy. I'm an alcoholic. Like, Former. No, once you're an alcoholic, you're just an alcoholic forever. Oh. It's hot. And then I invite, the, so she was a big comedy fan. So I invite her to my show and she goes, is doing drugs with strangers at raves how you normally get people to come to your show? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And she's not coming this week, though. It's actually Who's on the show tonight? People. I can't come. Pranav. We got, we got Mango, half a Mango Bay there. Kevin Ryan had to back out, said we had to got to reschedule him. I was looking forward to having having him on. Yeah, what happened? No, he had to reschedule. He couldn't make it today. Uh, My boy Drex. We got the biggest mouth <coughs> in the world. What? Sam Ramsdell. I'm cold. She uh, has the biggest mouth in the world. Right? Guinness World Record for that. Look at this, Karen. Biggest mouth in the world. Karen has... You know, Hel- Helena? I don't know how to say her name. No, Sam oh, Ramsdell. Uh, yeah. She has the biggest mouth in the world. And I have the biggest mouth in the world when it comes to talking. And I, the lesson here is I got to stop. And uh, that was a great episode. Thank you very much, Karen. The episode isn't over until I say it's over, Pat. Thank you guys for listening. It's only, it's only she is.